Hello guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Mr. D here. And today I will be making a funnel cake for you guys. Um, Very easy, very simple. The only thing is we will be using a fire. So you guys definitely needed a trusted adult to do this with you. Um, I hope you guys find this very easy and very simple. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so now I am back with the ingredients we will be using. And first I will start off with the most important part, the pancake mix. Okay. So this is what I decided to use today. You see how it says complete, you know, you know, I know the cameras flip, but complete. It is very important to say complete. If it says complete, you do not have to add anything else but water. All right, the next thing we will use, and this is my secret ingredient. Don't tell everyone about this one. Vanilla extract. Can you guys see the sun? The sun's beaming, but look. It's vanilla extract, you know, save money, go to family dollar. And to complete the funnel cake mix, we will just be using some water. I'm showing you guys a bottle of water because I'm not at the sink right now, but you can obviously use your sink if you need to. Now, to give you guys a breakdown of all the utensils we'll be using, we're using a spatula. Make sure it's a wooden spatula. I'll tell you guys why later. Measuring cup. Mm-hmm. Funnels, if you have them. We got red and blue, red and blue. Red's my favorite color, guys. If you don't have funnels, we're gonna use plastic bags. I like to use plastic bags, so I will be using the plastic bag one. And this bad boy. A good old spatula. See, I've had, I have a small spatula. You guys at home can have a really big one. I do have a really big one, but I find it easier to do it in the small one. You can still do it in the, in the big one, but it's easier here. For some odd reason, I can't find my spoon, but we definitely need spoons so, you know, you get a little pancake mix and mix. And also, you will be needing some oil to put in the frying pan to allow your funnel cake to cook. Before we actually open any of the ingredients, I want everyone to stop what they are doing and go wash their hands. Please wash your hands. It is very important to wash your hands before you do any of this before and after. So please make sure you guys go and wash those hands. 20 seconds, sing your ABCs, whatever you got to do. Okay, so now we'll begin to make the funnel cake mix. On the back of the box, it says to make six to eight pancakes, it'll take one cup of mix and three-fourths of a cup of water. Now, I have a big family, so for me, in my video, I won't be worrying about the measurements exactly, but for you guys and your family, if you guys have two to three people in the family, you can definitely use a six to eight pancake mix recipe, but I won't be worrying, so I'll just be pouring. But you can definitely refer to the box to make sure you get your measurements precise so you won't be wasting any ingredients. Very nice. You see, when it's falling off the spoon like this, that's when you know you've done a good job. Okay, so now that we have added all the ingredients, Very nice. You see, when it's falling off the spoon like this, that's when you know you've done a good job. Okay, so now that we have added all the ingredients, we've added the vanilla extract, the water, the complete pancake mix, stirred it up, made sure it's nice and just how we want it. We will take this and pour it into this bag. Ooh.
The next step is very important, very important. You need to seal the bag. Make sure the bag is completely sealed. Completely sealed. You don't want nothing falling out. Because you're going to take this bag, you're going to flip it upside down, and try to get all the batter to go this way. See how I did that? Now it's all falling down here. All right. So now that all the funnel cake mix is at the bottom of the bag, or the top of the bag, but you get what I'm saying, you're going to choose one side, get an adult, get a pair of scissors, and just cut a little bit off the edge. It's a little harder than I thought. There we go. The next step will be adding oil into the pan. You don't want to put too much oil. You just want to be able to cover it so it can fry. Just do that. Put too much lime. You don't want your fire to ever be this high. You want to put it about right there, but make sure you have an adult to do this. You do not want to do this by yourself. You are not allowed to do this by yourself. While waiting for the oil to heat up, Please enjoy this dance by yours truly, Mr. D. rather small pan and you might have a larger pan so you might have to add more oil but you know you want to be able to cover the bottom of the pan and just enough to fry each side you don't want to put too much because then it'll fry too quick okay so now that the oil has heated up we have our funnel cake mix in the bag we have cut our holes we are now at the final stages of making the funnel cake Make sure, it is very important to make sure you have a trustworthy adult next to you while doing this or assisting you because oil is hot, we are next to fire, and we definitely always want to stay safe, guys. Now, you want to make it, oh, you want to make, oh, no, 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 because then it'll fry too quick. Okay, so now that the oil has heated up. We have our funnel cake mix in the bag. We have cut our holes. We are now at the final stages of making the funnel cake. Make sure, it is very important to make sure you have a trustworthy adult next to you while doing this or assisting you because oil is hot. We are next to fire and we definitely always want to stay safe, guys. Now, you want to make it, oh, you want to make, oh, no, 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 no. So at that moment, I realized that I made the hole too big. I cut the hole too big that it would not work, that when I try to pour it in the pan how I was supposed to do it, it wouldn't really work out because the hole was too big. You know, you got to have just a little tiny hole, like, like maybe like that big. Figured I used pretty big scissors and I made a pretty big hole. So now I'm going to use some really small scissors and hope I can make a really small hole. Might be the trick, you know? I don't know if you guys can see. It's just this little cut. Might be the trick. So now I've made another hole, much smaller. You guys can barely see it, but I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. Let's hope this one comes out much better. Guys, oil is ready to go. Now the last step is to make sure we get the bag in the hand. And the trick with this one is you want to make the letter A. All right, so everything is ready, guys. 
got it got the smaller hole side or the side with the smaller hole um now the trick to make this is you want to do the number eight like so If this happens, that might mean your fire is a little too high, so you might want to lower it. You don't want it to sizzle too much and burn you. Now, this is, see how it's coming out? You can add a little bit more if you want. I'm just going to fill the little holes that I see. I'm just going to let it cook. You want to sit there. You are flipping your funnel cake. It is very important to move slow because you don't want no oil raising and popping you. See how I'm taking my time? When just gently guide it in there and just slowly see like that when you are finally done you want to take it out of the pan you want to drip it a little bit just to get off any excess oil and I like to place mine on some napkins to get up any oil that really doesn't need to be there and just let it sit you want it to dry now these are the two that i've made so far okay so the next step and final step will be adding some confection sugar i have mine in a little baggie now you're gonna take some now you can use a spoon create lots of a mess but you know and that is all folks should, uh, probably shouldn't have done that. My mom's going to be very, very angry. Let me clean that up. All right, guys. So we have successfully made funnel cake. Everyone give yourself a round of applause. Cheers, cheers. If you want to bow, you can bow. All right, so we have successfully made it. I want you guys to try your funnel cakes and give me some feedback on the way that they taste. Um, 